Hi, my name is Janis and today I will present you Ionic 2. Ionic is open source mobile SDK for creating hybrid mobile applications. Um, it uses web technologies and the latest version, Ionic 2, uses Angular 2. I will show you how to get started. First, you need to have Node.js installed. You can install the latest version of uh, Node.js by going to nodejs.org, dist, and you will see at the time of recording the latest version is uh, version 5. Uh, we will install the 64-bit version for Windows. Next, I will install the Ionix 2 npm package. I just go to the command line and write npm install minus g for global install and Ionic at beta. This will install the latest version of uh, beta for Ionic 2. I hit enter and now it's installed. Okay, once it's installed, we can uh, start a new Ionic 2 project by typing Ionic start. The name of uh, application, we will say sample app. Here we can, uh, this step is optional, we can specify the um, starter template. We will say tutorial, which comes with a few pages. Um, and here we specify the version of um, Ionic, here is v2, and uh, here we also say that we uh, want to use TypeScript. Okay, now we start it. Okay, once it's installed um, and set up all the files, we can go to this uh, folder created, it will be sample app, and here we have all the files. We can open it in our code editor. And we can see the whole structure of our application. We have three pages. Pages are similar to the components in Angular 2. Um, we have the TypeScript file, the HTML file, and the SAS file. Um, okay. And all the configuration files for Node, for Ionic, and for Gulp. We use Gulp as a task runner. Okay, now to uh, start this application, all we do is um, we type Ionic Surf, and this should uh, bring up the application. Okay, here we can see it started uh, our application, and it looks like this. We have uh, one button which toggles the menu bar. Like this and we have um, two pages one is hello ionic this default start the page and the second one is my first list here we have uh, a sample list with items and if we can uh, if we click on the item we get another page with the item detail okay start Okay, now we will uh, deploy it to the real device. Uh, for that, we need to have uh, Cordova installed. Cordova is underlying uh, technology which Ionic use. Um, this allows us to um, basically build our uh, web uh, mobile app to the, we build the Android uh, project or the iOS project. We install uh, Cordova by typing npm install minus g for global and Cordova. Once this is installed, um, for example, if we uh, are developing for Android, we need to have Android SDK installed in, on our machine. So we can install it by going here and on the Android developer page under Studio. And here we have Android Studio bundle, so SDK plus Android Studio IDE. But we want to install just the SDK. We go a little below, and here we can install it for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Okay, once uh, this is installed, we can go to the command line and uh, we can add um, Android platform. We can do this by Ionic platform at an android 
we hit enter we have a few options here one is uh, the default android uh, emulator which comes installed with uh, for example android studio or the genimotion uh, emulator is the second option i will use the genimotion we can go to the genimotion.com and install it here um, once we have uh, genimotion installed uh, we have a list of predefined uh, emulators like Google Nexus 5 and others. I will uh, use the Google Nexus 5 which I already started here and we will deploy it to this emulator. Okay, here in uh, the Ionic folder we just run Ionic run and Android. Okay, once it's installed it launches on the emulator and we can see our app here.